So based on the understanding of first century Jewish social interaction with Torah on a covenantal level, right, using that as our base background, it's actually more likely that Paul understood that Gentile believers would be joining existing Jewish communities in his day and that these Jewish communities would feel uncomfortable with Gentiles keeping Torah as Gentiles while at the same time claiming the promises of God through Yeshua. You understand? It's more likely then that the judgment being passed was not from Torah observant believers down to non Torah observant believers. Instead, it was in fact the opposite in my understanding. It was likely that judgment was being passed from the unbelieving Jewish community to Torah observant Gentile Christians for keeping the Torah without going through the ritual of conversion first. That's the way I understand the passage. I think that's a strong candidate. So remember, first entry Israel actually espoused to a Jewish only uh, community. And so in their minds, without conversion, Gentiles cannot be genuine covenant members. There was no allowance for Gentiles in their groups. The conversion policy was the barrier that separated the two groups. And in my understanding of the the, the social fabric of the first century communities, particularly the Jewish ones, this was a strong enough barrier to prevent Gentiles from being seen as genuine covenant members and being allowed to actually walk into uh, certain parts of the Torah. Remember, first century Jewish way of thinking, here it is in 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 a nutshell. We had Jews on one side of the wall, Gentiles on another side of the wall, and conversion was the vehicle that took a Gentile over the wall into the Jewish community. Conversion was needed in order to walk into the works of the law. You have to convert first and become a legally recognized Jew first, and once you cross that barrier, once you scale that wall, once you pass that entry point, so to say, the rest of the Torah and the blessings of the covenant are handed to you as a Gentile, and this is only after becoming a Jewish covenant member. Does that make sense? So, in a word, it is historically tenable, in my understanding, that unbelieving Israel became jealous and outraged at Paul's teachings at the newly fledged Gentile membership, the Gentile inclusion into Israel via association with a slain Jewish martyr, sans circumcision, that is, minus circumcision. Check out my podcasts, which are available on iTunes. You can search for me in the store under the search term Ariel Hanavi. But if you prefer to watch your theology, check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell for notifications. New content is added weekly or even daily.